Now, this is our environment with biotic and abiotic components. In this environment is like our bank, just as whatever money we earn, the extra money is put in bank and then it can be reused. So, nature or the environment is also like this. It has the great capacity to replenish itself. But what is happening? If that is true and if there are renewable resources, then why are we so worried? Why do we say that there is so much of pollution? There is global warming, the ozone layer is depletion. Who is doing all this? You, I and as a matter of fact all of us. This so called modern lifestyle due to the advent of industrialization and scientific advancement has a fallout and the fallout is that we are depleting, polluting our environment. We are interfering with the natural cycles. The things which were renewable are no longer renewable. Why? Because you see there has to be a balance. There has to be a balance between consumption and replenishment. The nature has this balance, but what have we done? We have made it imbalanced. How? We are consuming more and not letting it replenish. Take the example of our sacred river Ganga. It covers about 2500 kilometers starting from Gangotri to Bay of Bengal. In between there are about 100 towns of UP, Bihar and West Bengal. And we say that we worship Ganga, but actually what we are doing? We are using it like a drain. When there was not so much of urbanization, all rivers and also Ganga had a natural capacity to clean itself. Like for example, if this is the river, here was one town and then here was one town and in the natural course it got cleaned. But today between these two cities also many have come up. Like you know the suburbs of metros, how Delhi has expanded, how Bombay has expanded, expanded and so many other cities. As a result, there is not enough time to rejuvenate. Now just imagine if you had continuously had studies, what will happen? You will get fatigued. You always say I need time for recreation. I need to rejuvenate myself, isn't it? So it is also true for the environment. Environment also needs to rejuvenate itself. So what does that mean? Is it a helpless situation? No, it is not. Because scientific advancement also means that we will review and then change our path. So taking the example of ozone layer. Now what is ozone? See ozone is O3. Oxygen which is two atoms of oxygen one molecule of oxygen is made up of two atoms of oxygen. Oxygen along with water are the two most important components for sustaining life. We cannot survive without oxygen. But when this oxygen combines with an atom of oxygen in the presence of UV rays what we get is ozone and this ozone is deadly poisonous. So in the stratosphere this reaction takes place and ozone is produced and ozone is poisonous. But that is not all, everything has a good aspect also. The ozone also acts like a filter, at that level it can absorb ultraviolet rays and not allow them to enter the earth and these ultraviolet rays can be very very dangerous. Now if ozone layer is less or is not there then what is going to happen that from sun UV rays will reach the earth. Here is the filter of ozone and here is the earth. So if this is removed or you can say this becomes thinner, 
by dotted line I am making it thinner. Then what will happen? These rays will reach the earth and it has been observed that they can cause skin cancer. That is why so much of hue and cry about the depletion of ozone layer. But the question arises why is it getting depleted? It was there all along. So, what has happened now? You see the in the refrigerators or the refrigerants produce CFC chlorofluorocarbons. These chlorofluorocarbons deplete ozone. So, many of the new things technological things like air conditioners like refrigerators that we are using even some perfumes they are producing chlorofluorocarbons and depleting ozone. So, obviously, everybody was very worried. So, UNEP the United Nations Environment Project they decided that we must maintain the level of CFC at the 1986 level, which means we have to take precautions that too much of emission of chlorofluorocarbon has to be controlled, so that the ozone layer can be controlled. So, you can now understand what excessive interference of man's activities can do to the R to our environment and ultimately who is the sufferer? We only because we are not leaving our environment healthy for next generation.